us. Oh. Yeah, she did bring you to the Bachelor Rap to oh see it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There because she is. Because did a good job. Now my Olivia look like a, a strawberry milkshake juice. So that's why I Hey gang, welcome back to Carpool Cosmetics. I'm Olivia Phillips, the digital editor of GraziaME.com. And today in the backseat of the Kareem, we have got Mark Reagan all the way from LA and San Francisco. And he is the global director and makeup artist for Hourglass Cosmetics that's just landed here in the UAE. So I'm super excited to go through his bag of fun and discover all the new products that they're gonna to bring to Sephora. Hi. Hi. How are Hello. you? Oh my goodness, you're Hi. the chicest man in the Aww, world. How thank are you? you? I'm so good. Welcome to Carvel Cosmetics. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Yay, That's amazing. We're so excited. I'm a complete hourglass newbie, so I've not tried any. Which makes us all the more excited. I am very excited. But I brought some of our essentials that I thought would be a good introduction for you. Veil Mineral Primer is one of those, it's just an iconic product you need to feel this because it just it's so silky smooth especially when it comes to primers you know some Ooh, of them it is you know some of them just have either oh it's no, it's gorgeous they just have unfavorable you would just want to put textures. it on, on, on your whole body yeah wouldn't you? exactly the next thing that you have to know about is our vanish uh seamless finish foundation stick mm. so it's in simple coverage that's great but it feels weightless on the skin wow and if you put this together with your primer, mm -hmm. it's pretty much all you need. You can basically do makeup on the go. Like right now, in the car. Yeah. What color am I? Go Ooh, on this is always the Because you know I'm gonna test. Well, you know I'm gonna wanna get one after this, I, so I, I need to I get color that. matched by the best. Okay. So I'm just gonna take a guess. And the key thing with these guys is that you don't wanna judge based on that first initial application, you actually want to assess it as you blend it out. Mm -hmm. Because the pigment is so concentrated, it really needs to be evenly distributed, and it, that's your perfect color. And is it also because it will slightly change color? It won't it? change color, but okay. it will warm up to the skin. Okay. And then the holy grail of all setting powders. Dip your finger in there and rub it between your fingers. <gasps> Everything just feels like heaven. Have you ever felt anything like no. that? No. When you see powder kind of floating around in the air, that's actually a good thing because there's no fillers in it. So it makes it really weightless. Because it's infused with a diamond powder, it just gives this natural radiance to the skin, but actually sets your makeup. So you'll blur any imperfections, you'll blur out your pores, and kind of have this Instagram-ready filter on your skin our new liquid vanish oh. seamless finish foundation okay. so it is vanish in a liquid form the biggest difference though is you don't need a primer for this so it's instant full coverage and when i say that would you kindly give me the back of your hand again we only suggest half a pump for the whole face what? that's a quarter but i would do half a pump for your whole face go ahead and spread that around so you can see the Ooh. pigment level oh wow why not use a full coverage foundation that you need a lot less of physical product of mm -hmm. to do a lot more is that part of your philosophy of kind of sustainability cruelty free it's just like less to do more yeah in a way basically yeah, yeah. not only is it high performance makeup we are one of the only cruelty-free luxury beauty brands out there. Which is man it's absolutely mad to think about that. Isn't it? It should just be, it should be base automatic. level expectation. Yeah. yeah. Carissa is an animal lover herself, so it kind of was a no-brainer since the inception of the brand. Hourglass has always been cruelty-free. So that just that's simply put, we don't test on animals. That's not a hard requirement no. to me. From there. Um, she took it a step further and about a year and a half ago made a pledge to say by 2020 we're going to be completely vegan also. Because it's kind of hard to say, yeah, you don't test on animals, but you still use certain products that are, you know, uh, animal derived. Do you think the responsibility sits more with the consumer or more with the brands? More with the brands. Okay, why? I think that it's just important for brands to stand by something. Mm. 
And that and that's honestly that's the truth. It's, you know, it's not just about helping women look and feel better, but it's also what are you doing in that process to then make a, a statement for something good. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. it, you can do it simultaneously. It's absolutely true. Do you know what? This is our sustainable issue, actually. Weirdly, that I'm oh, just really? going to randomly pull out of the back of the career. <laughs> Ta -da! Yeah. I mean, as if by Matt, as if I did it on purpose, but I actually didn't. So, so what else have we got in your bag? Oh my gosh. There's so okay. So I thought you might want to pop one of these guys on because this is called our scattered light glitter eyeshadow. So how would you apply these? Could you just do it with your finger? Straight with your finger. Like I think in the car, it is the easiest thing. All right, let's do to it just then. Add a little pop to your eyes. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. You want to pop it? Pop it on. You want me to do it? No, I want you to do it. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take my ring finger, typically because that puts the softest pressure on the eye. Oh, oh it's so nice. Look it's at how so that it nice. just changed your whole look. I love it. Can I steal that from your bag? Glitter is all about using a modern formula. It's about the formula. It's not about the look because mm. everyone wants to kind of take part in glitter. Why but wouldn't it's you? yeah, why wouldn't you? But it's it should look modern. It's it should still look sophisticated. This is grown up glitter. 100%. So remind me how long you've been doing makeup? 15 years. And how did you get started? I was a fine arts major mm. in university. Mm. And my personality is not a starving artist type, so I found a profession that I, I can see that with it. Is that a Celine bag? I wanted to see, do something that continued to kind of stretch my creativity, but at the same time was, you know, kind of a steady job. Hmm. And so I kind of fell into makeup. I worked at counter, literally like all of those people you see in retail. I did that and I have such an appreciation for what they do mm. and how they work with different people and really like meet everyone's needs and, and you know you have to be compassionate when you're in retail. That's the kind of ideal counter person anyway. Yeah, exactly. To like really feel somebody and, and you know be empathetic. Something I was taught by um, my, my last mentor who was Bobby Brown herself is that she always said you have to you have to be sensitive because like you said or empathetic you don't know where people are coming from she taught me to just look at a person for what who they are and and what and what is already there and how to appreciate what's in place already and just enhance that i think there is also a space for women to be appreciative of what they see when they look in the mirror and that i would hope so yeah, yeah. bobby believed like like believes in that and, yeah. and that's like a really cool part of her Hun whole philosophy right absolutely yeah. and carissa does too and that's why i think this was such a beautiful fit yeah it's, it was just a really nice transition mm -hmm. and but i really love uh, that we're again we're doing it with purpose and so that's that element that you just don't find it mindful makeup mindful makeup yeah absolutely <laughs> i love that well thank you so much My it's pleasure. been such a pleasure and i'm like newly converted hourglass's <laughs> biggest fan i'll be you'll find me at sephora rummaging Yay. later like literally getting everything so Amazing. yeah and i'm really happy that you're enjoying Dubai. Thank you. Um, and I'm sure you're going to be back soon. Yeah. I hope you are. Yeah, I'll come do more carpools with yeah, you. Yeah, I'd love that. Yeah. Oh, all right, well, thank you so much. Amazing. Thank you.